Hi guys, it's Sarah from Book Nerds and Fangirls, and I'd like to start off this video by saying this is going to be a very controversial video. Video, so if you are not, and this is st strictly my, my opinion on this video, so if you're not open-minded about what I'm going to say, I'm going to warn you now, please click off this video. Because this is gonna be a rant video, also. Also, because as everyone knows, a shooting at Pulse, which is a nightclub, happened around a night or two ago. And I saw this post that I found really offensive and really just made me angry at the world that we live in because that is. This topic is very, uh, touch sensitive to a lot of people, so I'm gonna go by fa saying it's strictly my opinion. Your opinion can differ from mine, but please, no, hate comments down below. Down below, unless we're gonna have, like, a healthy debate about it, because this, my channel is not for hate. Hate and hate comments from my videos will personally be deleted deleted because I'm not for that and uh, this is something that needs to be said said and this is something that really truly disgusts me about society that we live in today and it's an, gonna be an ongoing problem for years to come it's just it makes me really sad sad and really sick and while there are some people who think this way not every person thinks this and acts this way and I'm not saying that your opinion isn't a bad thing when you post what these people posted about the subject it is a bad thing so I'm gonna share some comments that I saw from people on Twitter and I'm gonna share right now what upset me. What really upsets me is that there were 50 plus people who lost their life, all LGBT youth, my, may I mind you, who just lost their life, and 50 more who are critically injured at the moment, and who knows if that death toll is gonna climb up because of the extent of their injuries, and there are people actually thanking the guy who shot up the nightclub because of their religious beliefs, and that is not okay with me. So I'm gonna read the post that offended me, and I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on it, because this personally really upsets me. I am an LGBT activist. I stand up for LGBT youth and whatnot. Oh, a lot of my friends are gay or bisexual. I have some transgender friends and lesbian friends. And this really just sickens me that people think this way and use religion as an excuse to be hateful. Hateful. I mean, I know plenty of Christians and Catholics and religious people who believe the same thing these people do, but do not use this kind of behavior to get their point across. They might use a, the one sentence that's in the Bible to explain it, but they won't go as far as saying this, this to people. And it really disgusts me that any one of these individuals said this, and it breaks my heart, <laughs> honestly. Okay, so here... Go something. Okay, the first one is from. I'm not gonna say names. These are just comment comments. Everyone is anonymous on this. On this. So the first one is Florida Pulse Gay Club attacked. I'm so happy someone decided to start shooting perverts instead of innocent people. Okay, one. Not. All, ga all gays are perverts, okay? 
And by the way, how, how stupid are you to group perverts into one sexual orientation? The last time I fucking checked, every sexual orientation had their perverts. Perverts, and the most people with who are perverts are straight people. So why don't you fucking fact check that? Okay? Yeah. Okay, and as for innocent people, you have to realize that no one's truly innocent. Ever. I mean, whenever everyone claims, oh, well, they're breaking a rule that's in the Bible, I just look at them and go, do you not, have you never not lied in your life? Have you never spewed hate because God, it, that's against God's the Bible, too, if you spew hate, and you're supposed to love your brother, too, it's like, oh my god, if we followed every rule in the Bible, no one would be happy, <laughs> okay? Slavery would still fucking exist, by the way, and the discrimination against women would be bit a bigger problem than ever, because the Bible also says to do that, and people wonder why I'm not a religious person. <laughs> Person. Okay, so the second one. 50 gay people died in nightclub. That's what you call an effective shooting. Good shit. Gays don't deserve to live. Okay, when religious people say that it's not your... Like, okay, mind you that these are the same people that say abortion is wrong. Okay, I'm not saying I'm for abortion, I'm definitely not, but let's use abortion as an example. Example, these are the people who say that abortion is wrong because you're playing God, and yet a guy who is literally playing God by killing 50 people, you think that's fucking right? Fucking right? Oh, uh, yeah, what? Who are you? And, you know, who are you to say that people don't deserve to live your life? I mean, I'm not gonna tell you to go die just because you fucking posted that comment. That's just, that's a bitch move, and, you know, it's just, uh, Whatever. Okay, sorry. These really made me mad. The only good thing about the Orlando shooting is that it was a gay club. So less gays in the world today. Okay, yeah, you know, for a country who should be shooting rapists instead, <laughs> okay, there is nothing wrong, like, has anyone ever actually talked to a gay person? Has anyone actually, you know, listened to them and not just been automatically disgusted by them liking boys? I mean, fuck y'all, okay? That's all, that's all I'm gonna say. It's just, oh my god. It's like, why? Okay. For one, there's nothing good about a shooting. Absolutely fucking nothing. I don't give a shit who it is or what it is. It, these people are not dictators. These people, these gay people are not Hitler. They're not fucking Stalin. They're not terrorists. They are not people who deserve to be killed. Killed because your fucking religious brain thinks it's right. Okay. Alright, four. I wake up to some dude shooting up a gay nightclub. Isn't that weird? Homosexual- Sorry, what is that? Uh, homosexuality is condemned by God. So that's why he let that happen, people. Okay, have you ever heard of the technical term freedom of will? Okay, God gave us free will to do what we want to do in the first place. If... So, what people do is not up to God. God, it's up to... Well, for one... Yeah, it sucks. Uh, that's kind of like saying, you know... To a mother who just lost a fucking child. Oh, well, it was God's plan, you know... 
God wanted it to happen. Yeah, you say that to a fucking mother who just lost her child, you- I guarantee you, you're gonna be punched in the fucking face. Face for your ignorant comments. Okay. <sighs> God opened his armory to deal with Proud Fag America. 20 dead in mass shooting at Orlando. I, I just can't even with this comment. Okay. I just can't even with some of these comments. I, I can't even. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I, as an individual, would congratulate and give a thumbs up to the brother who killed 50 gays at Orlando shooting. What's next? Are you going to give a thumbs up to people who, uh, killed children, too? Are you going to give a thumbs up to all the rapists that rape women when they're drunk because they deserve it? I mean, who the fuck are you, dude? Who the fuck are you? Oh, was it a girl? I don't know. Man, I don't know what's better, the fact that gays were killed or the fact the killer was Muslim and a Democrat. Okay, one... I, I don't give a shit who the... What sexual orientation those fucking victims were? They were fucking people with fucking families? Families that you should be fucking respectful? Respectful? I mean, these people are fucking... Cruel and... Inhumane. Inhumane. Okay, one. Tell that to the 50 goddamn fucking families who just lost their kids. Their kids. I mean, it's br You could- It's brave. It's really fucking- You know, you find it really fucking brave to post that on fucking social media, and yet you won't go out and fucking say that in public now, will you? No, I bet whenever you fucking go out in public, you're gonna fucking- Say, oh my god, I'm so sorry for your loss. I'm so sorry that happened. But, well, in your twisted fucking brain, you're thinking that? So, yeah, <laughs> whatever. Uh, second? Okay, uh, don't blame all of Muslims for what happened during 9-11. Because the last time I checked, Muslim is a religion as well. As well. You can't blame a whole fucking religion for something individuals do. I mean, do we fucking blame Catholics for priests raping little boys? Boys, let's talk about fucking that. Oh, wait. Whenever it's your fucking church and your fucking religion, you don't want to fucking talk about it, do you? Okay, and third, there's nothing wrong with fucking Democrats. I was raised in a Democratic family, and I might be fucking an independent, but fuck you. Okay, you're... Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, this one isn't the worst, but nothing wrong with shooting a few gays. There's everything wrong with that. Nine. That is right target f That is the right target for shootings. Gays should be shot for disrespecting the natural order. Maybe you should be fucking shot for disrespecting the natural order, you homophobic, homophobic hypocrite. Gay nightclub. Just disgusting. And I think the gunman did a good job. Wow. Good fucking job. Job. Why don't you kill fucking 50 innocent people? People. Yeah, let's fucking do that. Why not? You know? Fuck it. Fuck it. Hitting the fucking sarcasm. Okay, 10. Gay people are sick. A lot of people are fucking sick. Okay? It's not... Gays aren't even sick. It's like all these people who post this fucking hate on this fucking place don't know a goddamn thing about it. Okay, 11. Okay, at least it was only gays. You know, they're fucking people too. Not like they add anything to mankind except disease, but a non-stop story, really. Okay, one, not every gay fucking person has AIDS, that's a common misconception. And, uh, two? Two, how, how ignorant do you have to be to think that every gay fucking person has a fucking disease? I mean, straight people get gonorrhea, too. They get AIDS. They get all these different sexual transmitted diseases. Diseases, sorry. Infections. 
I should call them S SGI is what they really are, but you want to focus on gays. Gays, I mean, come on, that that's just a really ignorant statement. And gays do contribute something to society. It's called fucking making us a changing society to where we have to fucking accept things. Accept things and uh, get off your your ways because it's changing and there's nothing you can fucking do about it. Do you about it? Or here's a better thing. Why don't you fucking leave it alone? It's not your life. They're not fucking your brother or you or anyone else. Anyone else. And if it disgusts you, keep it to your fucking self. Fucking self. It's not any of your business. It's not personally affecting your relationship unless you're letting it. Which is fucking stupid to begin with, because why would you let anyone else's relationship affect yours? Yours? Uh, whatever. Okay, at least it was just gays this time, not ifs and people. Okay, one... Like I said, no one in any of this is innocent. Do you think you're an innocent person if you think... That shooting people is fucking okay just because they choose to love who they want to love? Love? No offense, but every one of us girls have fucking sucked for my mother's tits, okay? Every one of us girls has admired women. Women and stuff. And guys, guys you can appreciate guys are nice too. too. So don't you even fucking start. Don't you even fucking start with that, okay? And then they use the hashtag pray for Florida. Okay, well, why don't you not use the hashtag? Because that hashtag is for people who actually give a fucking shit. Okay. And this one, this one, I was done by the time I read this one. The shooter is my hero. The cop should be sued for killing a hero. What was doing? Who was doing a social justice? I mean, since 8% of Americans no longer have brains to know that homosexuality is a great sin against God, and every natural human law let those who know. You see, they. They can't even, like, post, right? Let those know. Who knows? People buy guns and kill off any gay, lesbian, transgender, and their likes. Including Bruce Jenner, or whatever he calls himself now. May the soul of the shooter rest in peace. Amen. And fry- FYI, I am a Christian, not a Muslim. And my religion strongly condemns any acts of homosexuality. Well, I'm sorry. You cannot use fucking religion as a fucking excuse to be a fucking- Okay. Let me just say this calmly. You cannot use religion as a fucking excuse to fucking be a bigot. Or, I don't even know if I use that word. Okay. You cannot use religion as a blanket to... I uh, See, I'm getting really upset about this. I can't even get fucking words out about this. You can't use your religious religion. It that's the one thing that really upsets me about people of religion. Like some people, I'm not saying all, that they use one thing that the Bible says says and they act like that is supposed to be enough for them to be hateful and despicable towards people. Towards people. What if that was your fucking child? What if that was your fucking brother? What if that was your father? Or your son? Or your daughter? Or your fucking wife? Wife? Y you gotta take your self out of that equation. And your feelings. And put yourself in the other person's shoes. At the moment, okay? Okay, there are 50 families who have just lost their kids, 50 more families who have kids fighting for their life, and all you could do is use your fucking religion as a blanket to be a goddamn homophobe? You know, your 
God gave us free will to make decisions and to make choices, and who's to say what people choose? You're not God. I want to get this to everyone out there. You are not God. You don't know what fucking God thinks. Thinks. You don't know how he feels. He could be evolving with the times and you would never fucking know. You know who the only one who knows what God feels is? God himself. Himself. And I bet that he's seeing this and just going, oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Seriously, I did not put, he did not put 20, he didn't put millions of people in this world to think the same. And just because someone doesn't think the way you do, you do, or acts the way you do, you think they should be condemned for it? Well, for one, I'm not going to listen to, like, I get your opinion. I don't think that way. I think you should love who you want to love. And this is coming from a straight, heterosexual female. Okay? This is not coming from LG an LGBT person. This is coming from an actual human being. Stop. Stop using your religion as an excuse. Stop quoting the fucking Bible to have an excuse for you being a homophobic. There is nothing scary about gay people or the LGBT community. There's nothing scary about them. What's scary is the way you guys are fucking thinking and how you're fucking acting. And that is not okay with me. It is not okay to preach hate. It is not okay to use a God, God's name in vain. So when it, you think about that, you think about that when you're congratulating God for killing 50 people. 50 people because of the actions of one man. You really think that God is gonna let you off scot-free for saying that? Oh no, he's probably not. Uh, but who's just... But who cares as long as you could go to confession and pray your sins away, right? <laughs> right? But, okay. So, whenever I saw this, I'm just gonna share the rest because there's only a few. Sinners being taken out by sin. What sin? Loving people? Wow, that's such a sin. We should all not love people. We should all be robots. Man should not lie with another man as a woman. It is an abomination. This was God's hand, and he will pluck them away one by one. I have no judgment on what others do, but God does. Okay, that's fucking stupid, because you're making a fucking judgment right there. You could have your fucking opinion, but own up to it. Do not put God's name in your fucking sentence. Sentence. That's the one thing I can't stand, is people, ooh, who use God's name to be homophobic. You could preach to me all the time that that's in the Bible, but guess what? I'm not gonna fucking listen to you. For one, unless you give me a logical fucking excuse as to why they're disgusting, besides it's in the Bible, I'm not gonna listen. Because that Bible was written years ago. Years! It's not... And there have been a million different versions of it. All by man. Who do you, do you even, like, people today, do you even know if God actually wrote it and it just wasn't some person who said God wrote it? Does anyone fucking think that way? Okay, to me, they should have filed all the gay, okay, this one is also really infuriating. To me, they should have filed all gay bars and blown them away. May parents should really do their jobs and teach their children how to become men and women. Nobody is born gay. They are made by their own parents. You got a boy teach how to become a man. You got a girl teach them how to become a woman. Well, obviously your fucking family never taught you how to be a human fucking being. Okay, for one, 
people can't help the way that they fucking feel. So maybe you should fucking think about that? I mean, do you get up Ben morning and just fucking feel angry? Is that your fault? Fault? No, it's what you're fucking feeling. Okay? So don't give me the bullshit that it's drilled into people to be fucking gay. To have people like you fucking torture them for loving the person they love. Love, you think they ask for that fucking life? No, they don't ask for people to be homophobic and dumbasses and other stuff. They don't ask to get beat up or shot or anything for loving who they want to fucking love. Love, and don't you blame parents either. You know, if my child was any of those things, I would still love my child. My child? Not loving your child for their sexual orientation? That should be a sin, too. Two, you should love whoever you want to love. And that should be it. It does not concern you. It does not affect you in any way. Way? You are being a fucking homophobic. And... You could say that it's in the Bible all you fucking want, but until you realize what you're saying is just uh, utterly disgusting, nothing's gonna fucking change. Nothing. And that's... I I'm really sickened and appalled by all of these people. People. I mean, teach a boy how to be a man and a girl how to be a woman? A woman? How about your parents drill into your fucking brain how to be a fucking decent human being? Being? Because that's what we all should be. We should respect each other. We should... Let people be people. Be people and go after and kill the people who deserve... Who really deserve punishment. Gays do not deserve this punishment. Lesbians do not deserve this punishment. Bisexuals don't. Transgenders don't. These people feeling this hate. Hate deserve really bad karma. But, you know, that's just my personal opinion. So, to end this video, I'm gonna state my what I posted about this. Because this is how I feel. This is my post. Wow, these are truly the most disgusting people I've ever read about. If you think 50-something people being dead and 50 or so people being critically injured is a good thing and a brilliant act from God, then you're the problem in this world. The last time I checked, God wanted us to love and respect each other as people. And God will remember the hate you preach in his name. You're the ones who deserve to go to hell, not those innocent lives. So do me a favor and act like fucking human beings for once. Thank you. And to the families who lost a child. To the mothers who lost their son or daughter. To the father who lost their son or daughter. To the sisters who lost a sister or brother. To the aunt and uncles who lost a niece or nephew to the pers to the friends who lost one of their friends I'm truly sorry and I hope that America will change one day thank you